everybody, it's your girl Megan, show up fitness instructor. And today I'm gonna to go over the breakdown of what lower cross syndrome is, what you're looking for there, how we can treat it, orgasm. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, I am our show up fitness instructor for our in-person location here in La Jolla, California, as well as our online instructor for our past NASM CBT course. Now today we're looking at lower cross syndrome. So when we look at lower cross syndrome, you're gonna have that anterior tilt. So posterior tilt, squeeze the glutes that way, anterior tilt, your pelvis is going forward, anterior is going to be front. You're going to have that low back arch that's associated with lordosis. Uh, so that's what you'll see here. A little low back arch there. Uh, so what are potential overactive, underactive muscles in this scenario? So what now I'm going to say, once again, overactive muscles will be tight and short. So what's pulling me in, what's drawing me in? Your hip flexors, which we'll say is your psoas. Uh, and then the low back, uh, muscles and centers, your erector spinae. Those are the two main ones that we're looking for that will be overactive and tight. On the opposite side, what are some underactive muscles, some weak muscles that we want to strengthen? Uh, you would see your glute max, me. Uh, this is predominantly one of the most underactive muscles that NASA has. And then of course, the front side, your TBA, transverse abdominis, your core. So those are two muscles that we want to strengthen. When your clients have postural distortion patterns like lower cross syndrome, now that's always going to ask where the muscles are overactive and underactive, and then potentially ask what can you do to that. So in this scenario, my hip flexors are tight, I want to stretch them. So they have the hip flexor stretch. That's when you come down here, one knee, and you want to posteriorly tilt, squeeze the glutes, so that's to stretch the hip flexors, the psoas. Uh, on the opposite end, we want to strengthen the weak glute muscles. What's an exercise we can do that NASM likes you to do? They're gonna say, you're too walky, put a band around your knees, or right above it, right below, and just walk side to side. So two walking is what they would say would help strengthen those weak glute muscles. All this information that I just went over is to pass the NASM CPT course. Now, after you pass that, forget about it. Like I said, I never use this information when I'm actually training my clients. If my clients uh, had some weak glute muscles, or maybe they want to strengthen their glutes, they want to build their glutes, grow stronger, I'm not going to give them band walks. We're going to go some goblet squats, some hip thrusts, get some RDL in, work on the movements and actually building those muscles instead of doing light band walks side to side. So once again, if you are trying to pass that NASA CPT, like I said, our study guide is key. Our weekly Zoom calls have helped so many people pass the things. So if you're trying to do that, comment below, message me, and I'll help you gain access to that. But more importantly, if you're trying to become a great, successful personal trainer, you want that hands-on experience. Like I said, we do have in-person internships here in La Jolla, California, as well as West Hollywood. If you can't come in person, don't worry, we can come to you. We have seminars coming up each month, so be on the lookout for those. And of course, if you can't do any of those, we do have online. So if you're outside the country, we have a lot of people in that scenario. London, Spain, Italy, everywhere. Don't feel like you have to come physically in person. You can still gain all the knowledge that you need online with our weekly Zoom calls and all that information. So like I said before, before we go, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram at activeact7be, as well as show fitness, show fitness internship. We do have a website, www.showfitness.com. Of course, if you guys are trying to become a great, successful personal trainer, all you guys gotta do is show up to Girl Lady, 